In this video, I will be silently installing Python. I will use psexec to execute the installation under the system account and that's to make sure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy the software. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, if you want to know more about psexec, you can check out the video that I have here. And now I will begin this video by downloading Python executable installation file. And for that, I will use the link that I have here that brings me to the Python download page. And I will click on this button right here, download Python. Then I will go to my downloads folder. And here we have our Python executable. And now I will right click on the executable, select copy, and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have a Windows virtual machine prepared. And here I also have the software folder. I will open it and I will paste in the executable into this folder. Also in the same folder, I have my psexec executable. And now the next step is to open a command line. So for that, I will go to my start menu, type cmd, and I will run it as administrator and click yes. Now we want to change our location in our command line to the location where we have our executables. So for that, I will click here and copy the location. Then I will go back to my command line and, and I will type CD, paste in the location and press enter. If I type there now, I can see my executables in my command line. Also, if I type who am I, we can see that this co uh, command line is currently running under the user admin. And I want to switch to the system account. And for that, I will be using psexec. So I will type psexec executable name minus i for interactive, minus s to start a process under the system account. And then we need to provide the process that we want to start under the system user. And to keep it simple, I will launch another CMD window. I will agree with the license terms. And here we have another instance of CMD. But this time, if I type who am I, it is saying that this window is running under the user NT authority system. That means that everything that I'm doing in this window, I'm doing it as a system user. So once again, we want to change our location. So for that, I will type CD, paste in the directory, type there. And once again, I can see my executables. Now to start the installation, I will go back to my GitHub page. And here I have my installation command that I will be using for this video. As you can see, I'm starting this command with CMDC. This is not necessary, but it allows us to see when the installation is done just by looking at the command line, then I'm providing the executable file name. Then I'm using a switch quiet, and this is the main switch that makes this installation a silent installation. Then we're setting a parameter install all users equals one. And this makes uh, this installation a machine wide installation. Basically, it makes uh, Python accessible to all users on the computer. And then we're setting another parameter prepend path equals one. And this makes Python accessible from the command line. So I will copy this command, go back to my virtual machine and pasting the command into my command line and press enter. And now you need to wait for the installation to finish. And it seems that the installation is done. So now let's see if Python is working for us. I will type Py and press enter. And let's uh, print something. So I will type print. And then I will type hello world. And it seems that Python is working just fine. And that's it for this video. In the future videos, I will show you how to deploy Python using different types of software deployment tools, such as PDQ Deploy and Group Policy. So like and subscribe if you want to see that and see you in the next one.